in action.
So welcome this evening to our Wednesday night Bible study here at the Whole World Gospel Center. I am Pastor House. I am the pastor here at the Whole World Gospel Center here at 2509 South Elm Avenue here in the lovely town of Sanford, Florida. And we are so privileged and so honored tonight to be with you in the house of the Lord tonight. Are you happy to be alive in Christ? Somebody give me an amen. amen. If you love the Lord, say amen. amen. If you can't live without him, say amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, you know, I want to just uh, tell you how much I appreciate everyone and everything that they have done for you and, and my family. Well, I, myself, and my family this past uh, few weeks here on in the month of October, we have been so blessed and so honored and so fortunate to be recipients of your love and your appreciation for us. So I just want to take the time out and tell you how much we love you and how much we thank you for all that you do. And this goes to all, every other pastor listening tonight, we appreciate what you do. And so tonight we're here on a Wednesday night in the presence of the Lord to do what? To receive more of him. That's what we're here for. That's our purpose tonight, is to receive more of Christ. Amen? I hope you had a wonderful day. If you had a good day, just raise your hand and say amen. Amen. If you had a so-so day, just raise your hand and say amen too. Amen. There you go. That's all right. It's good to be alive in Jesus. Amen. Amen. The rain falls on the just and the unjust, does it not? Amen. Amen. We are not exempt from things of this world. But we thank the Lord tonight for being with us tonight. Father, we will usher your presence into this place, God. We invite you into this place, Holy Spirit. God, we are here tonight. We're here tonight to receive what we cannot receive anywhere else. Lord, we pray tonight for your presence to be in the midst of us tonight. That, Father, you would open up our hearts and our minds to receive the word of God. Father, this word is you. It's been given to us to know more of you and to be more like you. So tonight, Father, I, I pray that we, we've come to this place tonight, Father, with a spirit of expectation, expecting a mighty move from you tonight. We are not exempt tonight, Lord, from letting the Holy Ghost fall in this house. Father, this is Bible study for your spirit, Father, will abide wherever there are grateful hearts. And Father, your word says, when two or three are gathered in my name, you would be in the midst. And so tonight, Father, we, 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 we invite you, Holy, Holy Spirit, into this place. Reign in this place. You have dominion in this place. You have our full concentration and our focus tonight, God. Father, let us tonight, Lord, put everything aside, our daily walk, things that have happened in the days, in today's uh, circumstances that were unexpected, but, but, but they happen. The, 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 the trials of life, God. But now, Lord, I pray, Father, let us come to this place ready, focused to receive more of you. And, Father, I ask you tonight, Lord, to give me the, the ability, Father, to, um, to preach, to, to, to teach. Uh, Father, your word says it never comes back void. I believe that tonight. I believe that the word of God will penetrate in places that is beyond or even unable, Father God, to be able to be done by anything else. But Father, today we pray in this time of studying the word, open up our hearts and our minds that we may receive this thing, Father, this precious gift, the medicine for our soul, your holy word. Thank you tonight, Father, for the ones listening and the ones here tonight in present. Bless us, Lord, tonight. We thank you. We honor you. Have your way tonight. In Jesus' name, can everybody say amen? Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. Well, take your Bibles and run with me over to the sixth chapter of Ephesians. 
the sixth chapter of Ephesians. You don't have your Bible tonight, we'll have it on the back of the screen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I got my old news in the back there. All right, hey, buddy. My, my sound man. All right. Praise God. Praise the Lord. All right. Let me get my glasses here. It's not easy to read up here. Okay. Um, the sixth chapter of Ephesians. We're going to start at verse 10 tonight. What the Lord has uh, deposited in me tonight is a, a, a series. Um, it is virtually impossible for me to extract everything that God has in these verses in one Wednesday night service. It's impossible. If, if it were possible, which I mean, it is possible, but it would be kind of like where Paul was preaching for five plus hours. I remember the man of God fell asleep and fell down the stairs and then he died and then Paul got up and went down and touched the man and the man rose back up again. And we can stay here five or six hours, but uh, 